Yo, what's up? It's Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make two report tool tips, one by using just a little bit of DAX. Stay tuned. Okay, report tool tips. You already talked about them, Patrick. I know, I know. And if you haven't watched that video, it's imperative that you go watch it, right? Or at least learn about report two tips. So I recorded a video a while ago about it. So go watch the video or at least learn about them, you know, so you'll have a better understanding about this video um, before you start. DAX, you just did a video with Marco about it. Of course I did. I just want to kind of show off, show off my DAX skills a little bit, okay? So how, why, you know, what are you doing? So I want to show you. So I was visiting the customer at many, more than two report tool tips, but it was the same one over and over that he copied and just changed the little title. He wanted the title to reflect the axis that was on the bar chart or the line chart or the series that was in the pie chart or donut, whatever it is. He wanted to dynamically reflect that. And so he had copied them over and over and over again and was specifying them for each element. And so I was like, ah, oh, there's gotta be a way to do it. And of course there is using DAX, all right? So you guys know how I like to do, instead of all this talking, what? Let's head over to my laptop. So check this out, right? So in this dashboard, I've you know pretended like Adam and I, we have this really great consulting company where we're making tons of money. Um, and so on it, I have a chart that shows revenue and then I have a donut, which is just a pie with a hole in it, um, that has revenue based on the different products we sell, and then the revenue is based on months. And then if I hover over one of the bars, so we'll hover over this bar, you'll see my little tool tip, it says select the value, right here it comes, there we go. So it says the month, so as I hover over each one, it shows the month. And then for the, the donut chart, if you hover over it, in the title, you'll actually see what type of product we're selling, right? And so you can see that it adjusts, you know, based on the chart. Exact same tool tip, but I want that little header, that title to change. And so what I did was, I just kind of simulate what my, my customer did. I had, have two tool tips, one for monthly revenue and one for product revenue. And I also have corresponding measures, one for the monthly tool tip. It's a pretty straightforward uh, calculation. And then one for the product tool tip. So, okay. With this DAX, I know it can be done a million ways, right? You can go and probably optimize it and do other things. This is just the way I did it. If you do it a different way, I get it, right? Make it better. My job, right? One of the things I love to do with these videos is to get you guys to thinking, right? So, right, enough about that. All right, back to my laptop. So I have each two tip based on, you know, one of the measures in the header. And so I started thinking, I was like, why don't we just have one two tip and use that one two tip for both and then get rid of all those different two tips and only have a single one, right? So instead of managing and maintaining, if I change one two tip, I gotta go change the other one, make sure they're in sync because I need them to look exactly the same, just with different headers. And I think he had like 12 of them that he was maintaining. And so I said, why don't you just get rid of all of them and use a little DAX to go magically from two to one. Right? And so let me show you. Let me show you what I did. Okay, first thing I did was duplicate that tool tip. And I'm just gonna call it the revenue tool tip. Bam, right? Got that. And then what I did was I went and created a new tool tip that has a little DAX. And of course, I'm using variables because I'm still learning all the fancy stuff that Marco taught me. One day I aspire to be a DAX Jedi just like Marco. Maybe not as good as Marco, but anyway, all right? So you can see I use variables and all I did was check to see if there's a single filter on everything because I only want to show one value. Um, and then I use the same selected value that the person was using in each one of his measures to determine to get what I'm going to show. And then I use an if, right? And so I remember Marco was saying, oh, don't use an if in a, a measure. It can be costly. But he said for a little bit of data, it should be fine. This is just a little bit of data. And so I say if selected month, show the available months. Otherwise, if selected product, show the available products, right? All right, so with my new tool tip, instead of using the two tip measures that was created initially, I'm gonna replace it. So let me select this. I'm gonna replace the product tool tip for my duplicate with just my tool tip title. That's all I did. I'm gonna delete these. So let's go ahead and delete that one. Yep, I don't want it anymore. And delete this one. I don't want that one anymore. 
go over to my elements in my bar chart. First, I'm gonna go to my bar chart, two tip, it's turned on, and I'm gonna go say, hey, go there. And then I'm gonna go to my donut chart and say, go there, right? So I have one tool tip, just with a little DAX, I went from two to one. Once I go specify the two tips that I want, if I hover over this one, it shows March and August and December. And then if I go down here, hover over this one, it shows architecture and it shows speaking just like that, right? I didn't have to, I don't need two tool tips. I don't need to manage and maintain changes to two, three tool tips. I can, once I change one, it'll automatically pick it up and everything works. I have a single DAC statement that I'm using to satisfy all this. Now everything's, everything works. Remember, I'm not lazy, just really, really, really efficient. Okay, how are you guys doing this? Have you ran across this problem before? Have you had to tackle this challenge? Maybe, maybe not. Hope this helps. You have any questions, comments, post them in the comments below. If this is your first time visiting the Guy in the Cube channel, come on, hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. As always, from Adam and Patrick, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Do, do, do.